In Dynamics AX, there's a generic framework uh, called the case management system that can be used for tracking issues on vendors, purchase orders, uh, customers, sales orders, for example, uh, in project um, uh, project management for tracking an issue related to a project for example so um, a user has the ability to see their cases and what's assigned to them so let's walk through a small example typically this could be used by the customer service representative someone like uh, Marie for example so if I go over Marie's the customer service manager so uh, Marie might have got a call or an escalation from a specific customer so if I go into my sales orders for example she may have got a call from total wholesalers about this specific sales order and about the um, uh, the goods that she might want to um, receive or maybe a partial receipt for example so here we can go and create a case related to this so I can specify the case category and uh, it could be customer service for example um, related to returns it could be um, uh, inquiries about uh, following up on, on specific details now what I can specify is uh, the employee responsible so for example Marie might assign this to Kevin as a sales manager to go and follow up and talk to uh, the customer about for example we can assign a priority if we have priority lists and can assign a uh, description so for example um, the customers looking for accessories they might want to uh, follow up on we can assign a service level agreement to say that we're going to get back in 24 hours and we can also assign a case um, uh, processing level now these represent a sequence of events that you might need to follow uh, in the perp in, in the process of um, uh, executing a case and of course we have the case log um, so new item created for example so we can put the details about the log when we've created this so I'm going to go and create the case so this is the case created um, so I can edit that and put additional notes uh, for example um, what I have here is the association so I can see that it's associated with the sales order um, so that gives the operator someone um, the ability to follow up and of course we assign this to Kevin Cook so what I can do is of course send Kevin a, an instant message and say hey Kevin please follow up on case for example so I've got the ability to of course um, notify them now of course I can manage uh, cases if I go into my area page and I could look at all the cases um, so I can see cases that have been uh, all cases my cases and so forth so if we switch over or we'll change roles over to Kevin and we'll go across to Kevin and have a look at his area page for the home and so he can see uh, the cases so he'll see one in the my cases for total wholesalers so in this particular case um, yeah, turtles looking for some specific accessories so he can open that and start to deal with the case so with the case open Kevin could put it into in process as a status he can add something to the case log so for example he can say phone call and say called customer accessories in the box so he's dealt with the issue so now he could uh, close the case now if it's not open he could certainly open it again um, to put in the details for example if the customer rings back so he could put that back in process now the customer may want some more details so he might want to schedule an appointment for example um, and so he can record activities against um, the specific case 
So here we can record the details, meet customer on, on product. And we could say their office, for example. And we can see that it's associated with the case. We could put some additional details. We could go and register that it's uh, for tomorrow. Um, so for example, we're going to go out and it's going to be an all day uh, appointment with the customer. And so we can uh, close the details. Now close the case. What Kevin has the ability to do is also synchronize this to Outlook. So with the Outlook synchronization, we can synchronize the contacts, tasks and appointments that might be related to a case or other activities in the system uh, to Outlook. So from a case management perspective, um, really what the case is about is really tracking activities and keeping a log of the record um, throughout the system in association with specific documents. So that's really the purpose of, of case management to keep that log tracking and provides a simple framework for doing that and with the incorporation of the activities gives people the ability to manage and follow up on activities and assign uh, tasks to different people to follow up on specific issues to resolve customer problems and keep a log of those activities.